To begin this video, I have one of the grains that ships with Rebel 3 open. And the reason why is because this is a good example of the type of image that we might use the next three filters on. So what I want to do is I want to come over here to filter and choose the first one, which is invert. So if I choose invert, all the white pixels are going to be turned black, all the black pixels are going to be turned white. You can see how that goes. Now, the next two filters are going to be white to alpha and black to alpha. So the idea being is that if I wanted transparency back here, what I could do is I could modify this so that the white areas are going to become transparent. And this could be something that I could then use as any number of things. Maybe it could be a masking fluid layer. But the point is, is that this could then be something that could be really useful having that sort of transparency. So first thing first, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility of the canvas so that we can see that this layer does in fact have white pixels. So now if I come over here to filter and I choose white to alpha, you can see that the white pixels go away and we can now see the transparency. So like I said, this could then be turned into something like a masking fluid layer or any number of other things that we might want to do with this. Even a stencil would be a good use for this. Although we don't really necessarily need to do that white to transparency conversion for a stencil. I'm going to go ahead and undo that for one second, control Z. And if I come over here and I choose filter black to alpha, you can see that now the black parts have gone away and we're left with just the white parts. And again, this could be something that could be useful for a layer mask or a stencil. So they may seem simple in terms of what they do. However, I want to show you another instance where these guys could be really useful. So I'm going to come over here to file, new. I'm going to say no because I don't want to save that and just say okay to accept a default. Now the very first thing I want to do is I want to come over here that I'm going to go ahead and get the washi. I'm going to make sure that my texture is 100% and I'm going to go ahead and have the deckled edges on and say okay. So once I've done that, I have my washi, I'm ready to paint. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and choose a watercolor and maybe for this one I'll choose the mop and I'm going to choose a color of black. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and pause. So I'm going to go ahead and be painting black down here, but I'm going to be painting in kind of an odd way, especially considering this is a colored background. So I'm going to go ahead and begin to paint like so. And then what I want to do is I want to choose white. And I'm going to go ahead and paint right over the top of this. And you can see that by the fact that I'm painting these, I'm getting grayscales, I'm getting white. That white is showing up very strongly against that background here. But if I let this diffuse, they're going to blend into one another. And they're going to create some really interesting effects that you can really only get when you're allowing white to blend into black. And this is something that you might want to do for certain types of painting styles. One of the nice things about these filters is that it doesn't just get rid of the white or the black for that matter. It gets rid of all of the shades of gray that contain that particular color. And you'll see what I mean in just one second. So I think this is good enough. I'm going to go ahead and dry that. And then what I want to do is come over here to filter and I'm going to choose white to alpha. And what you're going to see is that all of the whiteness went away in that paint mixture. And instead, all we're left with is as if we painted this in black and then mixed in some water in order to get that blending effect. However, getting that same blending effect with just using water may not have gotten us that effect. So this is a really great way of doing monochromatic paintings where you have a color plus white and you use the white in place of water. And then when you're done, all you need to do is simply remove the white by using that filter. Now I'm going to go ahead and undo that real quick. Control Z. And then I'm going to come over here and do the opposite. So I'm going to come over here to filter and choose black to alpha. And you can see in this case, all we're left with is a white and all of the black pixels and the gray pixels go away. And this could also be useful for maybe cloud painting or something like that, where you only want the white and the transparent parts of the white, but you don't actually want any of the dark gray. So this is one of those type of effects that can be useful in a number of different ways. And it just depends upon your creativity how you decide to use it. But that would be one way that I would use it. Another way that I would use it, I'll just come over here and clear that out, is if I'm using something to make an ink drawing. So maybe I'll use the reed pen and I'll go ahead and get a bigger size, something like that. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go ahead and begin to draw out lines with this, like so. And let's say that I don't want to convert this to an eraser for some reason. Instead, I want to have all the properties of this brush, including the wetness, but I don't want there to be certain parts of these lines. I want to be able to erase them out. Well, I can switch over here to white and then I can come over here and I could draw the white over the top of this. And then I could simply come over here to filter and choose white to alpha. And it would be exactly as if I used an eraser. However, I have all the same paint properties of using this as a paintbrush instead of trying to switch it to an eraser or switching to an eraser brush. 
So again, there's a number of different ways that you can use these guys. They may seem simple in terms of what they do, but in terms of their application, they may be some of the most powerful filters that are included with Rebel 3.